up what's up what's up how has been the week i hope you're really doing good yeah thank you for following me up i won't start that way uh thank you for new subscribers thank you for the likes and the comments thank you. if this is really your first time don't forget to subscribe and like and also press the notification bell because those are the goodies you always do me okay back to the business what do we have today today i brought for you a topic which is a really very very common topic and very very important for bass playing it's called slash code slash chords and bass playing that's how i've called it the slash chords and bass playing now most cases i would start by defining it slash chords uh to me it's a very unique way of writing chords that might be confusing if you don't know what to do with it in actual sense because they write a chord and they say the basis is playing what is on the right and and there are two you see like a two two chords something like that like you play what is in the right something is on the left you think like you have to play what naturally in my very beginning of bass playing i thought i have to play what if you write like c stroke e i felt like i have to play c but it's not really that it's not really that so slash chords there you just take it they say slash but for to me take it it's a a chord over a certain note for example if i write c stroke e it's just a c chord over the e note take it as a fraction a fraction will make more definition and clear so when i say over now the basis will understand it easily that over so the basis plays the low something below okay so that makes more sense okay now we are going to start with example one as you can see on the screen uh we have a four uh bars a progression the first chord is a c major seven don't worry about the major seven just take it as a c the second chord is a c over e or c slash e the second bar and the third bar the chord is f major seven the last bar the chord is g slash b or g over b and then the music repeats when you see those double dots at the end of the last bar they mean go back to the beginning and play so first of all um, i'm going to play this as a chord and then i'm going to play it as a bass line so as a chord the time signature is four four meaning in every bar there are four beats so in that case i'm going to to play and and before that i remind you if you have problems with calculating the time signature on the measure you have to go and see one of my videos about um uh, how to play sheet music for the beginners uh, so that will help you understand i'll link it in the description or if you ask me i'll put it in the description if you really need it so uh let me play the chord progression to you and then i'll play the bass notes and then we, we analyze it so one two as i've explained to you the chords already the first chord is a c major seven to c stroke e to f major seven then b stroke g i'll play it oh i could play i can play this register going back to c major seven so one more time to f major seven then b stroke slash g slash b back to c so you can play this one or you can play this it also works now if i count for you well using the bass notes and you're grooving one two three four c to e to f now this is now real group c the first measure second measure play e then play f g slash b play b you see so that 
means that when you say C slash E O over E, you play E. When you say G over B, you play B. That's the thing. Let's look at example two. Uh, on the screen, you see C major seven, then F over D. That means that the D is in the bass, and you play like F over D, the D is in the bass, something like that. And um, then you have C over over E, then you have A minor seven over F, you know? That's like six chord over four. Then you have D over F sharp. Then you have C over G sharp, over G, sorry. And then you have G, then you have B, G over B. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, like six slash chords on that. So the first you play C, even if I don't play, if I just play you that by harmony and you hear, we have C major 7, going to this to slash F, then you go to C slash E, then we have A slash F, so that's A minor slash F. Okay. Just something. Then D stroke F sharp is a bit perfect, like this. Then C slash G is like this. I can play this register. That's kind of a gospel chord, resolving to a G. Then uh, G slash B, I can play this, taking me back to C. So if I play in the bass notes, one, two, three, four, C. Second chord, play D instead of F slash D. Next, play E. Next, play F sharp. Then play G. Then G. Then to B. So when you realize in slash chords, you always play what's on your right hand. So for the chord one being C, you just leave it as C. Now chord two is F slash D, you play D. Chord next is C slash E, you play E. You can play this open E or this E. Next chord being A minus stroke F, you play F. Next chord, it goes to D, stroke F sharp, play F sharp. And then C slash G, play G. The next chord is just a G, you play G. And the last chord in the measure, G stroke B, play B. Then going back to C. I'm just grouping, okay? Slash chords are very, very, very common in very shit music that you always be given. So whenever you see the basses, especially beginners, don't be confused. Play what is on your, if the chord is a slash, play what exists on your, on your right. And you have to be knowing them because most times in pop, in gospel and any other music, they'll always write slash chord that become a very common type of chord writing that you find in songs. Even some jazz tunes have them, you know? So you have to know, because if you play G, you ruin the entire uh, rhythm section. So you have to, if the song is G stroke B and you play G, it won't sound good. Of course, the chord there is a G. If you like, for example, you analyze it, G stroke B, the chord is a G. Because if I, I put a B, it's just the third, you know, of, of, of G, you know? So just that, and I hope this lesson is really so meaningful. I've kept it simple as that. Please enjoy your day, have your fun. Don't forget to comment and like because those are the goodies you always do to me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for passing by. See you again any other time. Bye-bye.